hello viewers in today's class we are going to discuss uh, one important concept from three dimensional geometry right so here uh, we are uh, discussing a concept of distance of a point uh, from a line uh, measured parallel to some given plane right so let us uh, start and let us uh, discuss this uh, concept with the help of this given problem right so let us first read out this uh, problem so here uh, we have to uh, find the distance of the point minus 2 comma 3 comma minus 4 uh, from this line right measured parallel to the plane uh, whose equation is given here right so let us first see uh, the rough diagram of this problem and uh, let us see uh, how we can uh, solve this uh, problem so now let us consider uh, the line uh, L, right? So this is the line L and whose equation is uh, given over here. And uh, let us take the point, uh, say P, uh, which is given over here, right? And here we have the point P whose coordinates are minus 2, uh, comma 3, comma minus 4, right? And see, uh, we have to find the distance of this point from this line, right? And the equation of the line is given like this, x minus 1 over 1, y minus 2 over 3, and z plus 1 over minus 9, right? And uh, say, uh, this is the distance of uh, this point P from this line L, right? And let us take this point as M. Right? And see, uh, here PM is not the perpendicular distance of this point P from this line L. Right? Why? Because we have to find the distance of this point from this line measured to uh, this plane. Right? So, let us uh, draw the plane like this. Here we have the plane. Say, uh, we can uh, draw it like this. So, this is the plane. Right, so this plane is parallel to uh, this uh, distance that is PM. Right, so here uh, the plane is uh, x minus y plus 2z minus 3 is equal to 0. Right, and this plane is parallel to PM. So we can here write uh, plane is uh, parallel to uh, PM. Okay. So let us once again uh, read out this problem. Find the distance of this point uh, from this line L measured parallel to the plane x minus y plus 2z minus 3 is equal to 0. Right? So this plane is parallel to PM. Now see, uh, we know that uh, the normal of a plane is an important uh, component of uh, the plane. Right? So let us draw the normal. Uh, to this plane uh, which is given as x minus y plus 2z minus 3 right so if we take the normal vector say this is the normal vector and we can take it as n vector so this normal to this plane is now perpendicular to uh, this line that is pm right so this is 90 degrees so this is the important concept here and this is the significance of this word measured right so this plane is parallel to pm and uh, when this plane is parallel to pm then the normal vector is perpendicular to the normal vector is perpendicular to pm right so now here our aim is to uh, find out the direction ratios of pm right and we know the direction ratios of this normal vector uh, which are given by the coefficients of x, y and z, right? So now uh, let us uh, find out the coordinates of this point M, right? This point M lies on this line L. So in order to find out the coordinates of this point M, uh, we will find out the uh, coordinates of uh, the general point lying on this line. Uh, L right so here we'll take uh, say some scalar R 
right so r is some scalar and now we can form uh, three equations here uh, the first one is x minus 1 over 1 is equal to r then y minus 2 over 3 is equal to r z plus 1 over minus 9 is equal to r right so here we have x is equal to uh, r plus 1 from this equation from this equation we have y is equal to 3r plus 2 and from this equation z is equal to minus r uh, minus 9r minus 1 right so now here we have the uh, values of x y z in terms of r where r is some scalar so this coordinate that is r plus 1 comma 3r plus 2 comma minus 9r minus 1 uh, this represents the coordinates of the general point on the line l right so here uh, the coordinates of this point m can be taken as uh, this coordinate right so now see uh, this point uh, m has now this uh, this coordinate and the coordinates of the point p are minus 2 comma 3 comma minus 4 so from uh, these two, from these two points p and m uh, we can find out the uh, direction ratios of uh, p m right so here uh, c we have the coordinates of point p as minus 2 comma 3 comma minus 4 and m uh, has the coordinates uh, that is r plus 1 then we have 3 r plus 2 then we have minus 9 r minus 1 right so we know that if we have uh, two points say x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 then the direction ratios of uh, uh, such a line uh, segment are given by or the vector is given by uh, x2 minus x1 here and then uh, we have y2 minus y1 then we have z2 minus z1 right so if we subtract the corresponding uh, coordinates uh, we'll get the uh, direction ratios right so now uh, we have here uh, r plus 1 uh, minus uh, minus 2 so this becomes plus 2 then we have 3r plus 2 and here we have minus 3 and then we have minus 9r minus 1 plus 4 right so the uh, we can simplify it so we have r plus 3 here this is 3r minus 1 and this is minus 9r plus 3 right so the direction ratios of uh, pm are given by r plus 3 3r minus 1 minus 9r plus 3 right and we know that the direction ratios of the normal vector the direction ratios of the normal vector are given by the coefficients of x y and z in the equation of the plane right and here coefficient of x is 1 coefficient of y is minus 1 and the coefficient of z is 2 right so now we have the direction ratios of pm and the normal vector and see this normal vector is uh, perpendicular to pm right so now uh, we can apply the uh, condition for the uh, two perpendicular vectors so if the direction ratios of first vector are a1 b1 c1 the direction ratios of the second vector are a2 v, b2 c2 then the two vectors are said to be perpendicular if we have a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 right so now uh, here a1 b1 c1 are given by uh, these direction ratios a2 b2 c2 are given by these direction ratios now let us substitute the values so we have r plus 3 uh, times 1 then we have 3 r minus 1 times minus 1 then we have here uh, minus 9 r plus 3 uh, times 2 that is equal to 0 so we have r plus 3 here we have 
uh, minus 3r plus 1 and here we have minus uh, 18 this is uh, minus 18r and uh, then we have here 6 that is equal to 0 right so now let us solve this equation so here minus uh, here we have r minus 3r and minus 18r uh, which is equal to minus uh, 20r right 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 6 10 and uh, this is uh, 20r is equal to 10 so r is uh, 10 over 20 that is half right so the value of uh, this scalar r is equal to half right so now we can substitute this value of r over here uh, to get the coordinates of this point m so now m can be uh, written as here we have half plus 1 then here we have 3 over 2 plus uh, 2 then here we have minus 9 over 2 minus 1 so this is uh, 3 over 2 and this is uh, 2 to the 4 plus 3 7 over 2 and this is minus 11 over 2 right so now uh, we have got this uh, coordinate of m as 3 over 2, 7 over 2 and minus 11 over 2, right? And now we can easily find out this distance that is pm uh, by making use of a uh, distance formula. So now here uh, we have the coordinates of m that is 3 over 2, 7 over 2. This is minus 11 over 2 and the distance pm is given by square root of x2 minus x1 square y2 minus y1 square and z2 minus z1 square right so this is the distance formula and uh, here we have the points so we have uh, 3 over 2 minus minus 2 so this becomes plus so here we have a square then 7 over 2 minus 3 whole square and then we have uh, minus 11 over 2 uh, plus 4 right so here we have negative sign so this negative and this negative uh, makes it positive right so now we can simplify it so this is 4 plus 3 7 over 2 whole square here we have 2 3 is a 6 7 minus 6 is 1 so we have half a square here and this is 2 for the 8 8 minus 11 is minus 3 over 2 square right so now we can simplify it so this is 49 over 4 this is 1 over 4 this is 9 over 4 right and this is 49 plus 1 plus 9 that is uh, here we have 4 as LCM so this is square root of 59 over 4 so we can write it as square root of 59 over 2 right so the square root of 4 is 2 so hence the distance between P and M is given by a square root of 59 over 2 uh, units right so viewers this is how we can find out uh, the distance of a point from a line measured parallel to some given plane, right?